and welcome back to the Lickin Room. We're gonna learn Iris with tabs right here on the screen, note by note, chord by chord. So before we start, you can download the tab. The link is below in the description. All the Lickin Riff tabs are for free. Always have been, always will be. All right, while you're there, you can check out the free workshop, the free finger style workshop that I've recently launched. So Iris, begins with B minor, okay? And you start by playing B minor any way you want. And the idea is to play two, four, five on the A string. So it's... So when I move my little finger to five on the fifth string, I make sure that I put this finger back on the second string. And that way I get uh, what is technically a D chord. So... Okay, and then I move to seven, bar on seven, and... Seven, nine, seven on the first string. Okay, you can pick the chord any way you want. It's still B minor. You have 10, 7 on the second string, 9 on the third. And again, you can play the chord any way you want. Just be emotional, you know, feel the chord. And you can play okay, those same notes. You can play them on the sixth string. You can play 7, 9, 10. So it's... You start the verse it's three on the second string and then it's D with five on the first string so it's D5 it's five three two on strings uh, one two and three so okay so you start with the second string and then you have E minor which is all open strings except for the first string where you play five three two and then you have G with three on the second string, open first. So it's D, E minor, um, G. And then you have three and zero again, strings two and one. Then you have B minor, two on the first, open the first string, three on the second string. Now you just lift the bar, okay? So. And then you have A, you can just play strings 1 and 5, or you can play the chord if you want, and then 2, 0 on the first string, and then G again with 3 on the second string, A, 3 on the second string. Then you have the same D, okay, same line, 
And then you have E minor, just five and three. <clears throat> and then you have G with three on the second string. Then you have five on the first string with the G bass. Then you have three, two, two. So you have to use your little finger and your second finger when you start, or your thumb, which is the easiest way to play this. And then you have three on the second, open first, and then B minor, same thing as before, and then you have the same A to G. Then you have the chorus. You go back to seven, but you put this on. It's B minor seven. It's five on the first string, seven, seven on the second and third, and seven on the bass. Okay? Beautiful chord this is. This is a beautiful voicing. So you start with the third string, and then you play the chord. First string three times, and then you have five and six on strings one and three with A. Okay? This is an A chord. It's a part of this. So this is, and then, okay, it's an easy transition. Then three pull off to two on the first string, and then G with three on the second, open first. And then you have the same B minor line as before. And then you have A again. 0, 2 on the first string, and then G with 3, 3 on the second. Okay, so it's 3 first, and then 3 with the bass. Then you play everything again. B minor 7, A, G, B minor, A, then G. Then you have the solo, you play the intro twice, and then you have B minor with the third string four times, A with the second string four times, two, three on the second, and then you have G with the open third string. And you can play this three times if you want, like the original song, then you have three, two on the first, then D. Then you have B minor with 7 on the first string. And you start the song all over again, or you just finish there. Play the intro. So as I mentioned, the tab is for free. Okay, The link is below in the description. Download the full Lick and Ref tab book. And um, uh, I don't know what that was, whatever that was. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.